The next morning I woke up and I thought, that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. And then I saw blood on my sheets and I realized that was not a dream at all. A demon did this to Tucker Carlson as he was sleeping? It's no secret that seemingly Tucker Carlson has pressed into faith of the supernatural rather suddenly. From growing up without any sort of faith tradition to now acknowledging the spiritual realm. People are subject to the supernatural. So they do things that are not natural, like kill themselves. That's why we're the only species that kill itself. So when you kill yourself, whether slowly or all at once, you're being acted on by forces outside of you, spiritual forces. And even telling Joe Rogan that he believes that aliens are actually from a different supernatural realm. What are, okay, so if they're spiritual beings, which I believe they are, are they good or bad? And, um, and I think some of them are bad. What makes you draw that conclusion that they're spiritual? What's the obvious? I mean, spiritual may be the wrong word. Supernatural. You know, they're beyond nature as we understand it. I mean, obviously they are. I mean, just chart their physical behavior. It doesn't, you know, it goes outside of what we understand about physics. But in this brand new clip sent to me by the producers of an unreleased movie called Christianities, Tucker Carlson opens up about a demonic experience much more personal than anything he's ever shared before. But before we get into that, guys, my name is Roost on this channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire you to live a life that blesses God. Oftentimes, that includes us leaning into hard conversations about the supernatural and a realm beyond our own. So if you're new here, or if you're not new here, please do me a favor, make sure to hit that subscribe button as a huge percentage of the folks who watch this channel, unfortunately, are not subscribed. All right, let's jump into this video. Okay, so in this video, Tucker Carlson makes some pretty crazy statements that there seems to be a precedent for, believe it or not, and we're going to look at some of those, and we're also going to look at some scripture in a bit, as well as an announcement that I'm going to make here in just a second. So make sure you watch till the end of this video. Let's jump into this video. This is on Christianity's YouTube channel. We'll have the link below. Check this out. The presence of evil is kickstarting people to wonder about the good. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to you? Oh, yeah. I had a direct... Uh, experience with it. In the milieu of journalism or just- Nope, in, in my bed asleep. at night and I got attacked while I was asleep with my wife and four dogs in the bed and mauled. Wow, okay, so I think it's, it's, I think it's interesting that the question my buddy John was asking was, do you believe that the presence of evil is what's causing people to come to faith? Meaning we see evil pervasive in society, we see it in culture, and that is what's causing so many, the Russell brand, so many of these folks to come to faith. Tucker Carlson took this to a whole nother level. He took this to a full on physical demonic attack. Not just we look into society, we look at things and it just seems like we're in the upside down. He's saying that, no, no, no something physically happened to me. And, and let me let me just say this. I, I'm, I haven't been the biggest fan of Tucker Carlson, but hearing stories like this and his seemingly encounter with God is slowly starting to win me over. That's not an endorsement of everything he's ever said, anything he believes, but this sort of stuff is really interesting to me. Physically mauled. Um, In a spiritual attack by a demon? Yeah, by a demon. <laughs> or by something unseen that left. Is that right? Uh, claw marks on my sides, on my- So it left physical marks? Oh, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> a year and a half ago. I've never heard of physical marks, but apparently this is not as uncommon as we think. Now we've, many of us have had weird, you know, dreams or maybe even demonic dreams or uh, what is it called? Sleep paralysis, sleepwalkers. I used to be a sleepwalker as a kid. Uh, so that's not that uncommon. But when he's saying is that something from the spiritual realm crossed over into the physical realm and attacked him, that's different than anything that I've ever experienced. If terrified, I know you were. I wasn't, I was totally confused. I woke up and I was, couldn't breathe and I thought I was gonna suffocate and I walked around outside and then I walked in and my wife and dogs had not woken up and they're very light sleepers. And then I had these terrible pains on my rib cage and on my shoulder and I was just in my boxer shorts and I went and flipped on the light in the bathroom and I had cl four claw marks on either side underneath my arms and on my left shoulder and they're bleeding. Wait, they were bleeding? They were bleeding, yeah. No, 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 actual claw marks. And I sleep on my side, so I wasn't clawing myself. I don't have long nails. Um, and the <laughs> Tucker's laugh is amazing. He just has this real awkward, nervous laugh. <laughs> I love didn't it. fit my hands anyway, but yeah, that happened. So I, I don't, I'm not from a world where things like that happen. I never heard of anything like that happening before. Huh. I had no idea what that was. I knew it was spiritual immediately. You did? Okay, that was gonna be my question. Yeah, 
I, well, I don't understand to this you, day. I'm not going to put you, it. You didn't. Part. You didn't try to refute the spiritual part in your own mind. It went. You went right into the. Well, idea. it didn't make any sense, and it mm -hmm. doesn't now. Um, so, but I'm not from a. What do they call it? Faith tradition right. that um, talks about things like that, or even acknowledges their existence. Like, there's nothing like that. I've, I've never heard anybody say anything like that in my whole life. What was the next day like? Well, the next morning I woke up and I thought that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. And then I saw blood on my sheets and I realized that was not a dream at all. So I called my assistant who was like the only evangelical Christian I know, you know, well enough. Shout out to the evangelicals. This movie's put together by our friends, the Hears and Neil, and there are Orthodox brothers, but good old Tucker reached out to one of us evangelicals. I love it. So I called my assistant who was like the only evangelical Christian I know, you know, well enough to call with something bizarre like that, totally bizarre like that. Mm. And uh, she said, oh yeah, no, 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 that happens. Yeah, people are attacked in their bed by demons. Okay, for the record, this is no longer an evangelical. This is a charismatic. Get Pagani on the phone. Okay, this is not just a typical, uh, you know, non-denominational, seeker-friendly evangelical. Whoever this is, it got, got a little bit more to their story. <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you even talking about? <laughs> it's yeah. like, look at you, look at John's face. John is like nervous laughing along with him. I love this. So, I mean, I'm not leaving anything out and um, and I'm not pretending to understand that. I can only say what happened to me and that did happen to me. And, uh, and then I was seized with this very intense desire to read the Bible, hmm. uh, which I then started without any study aids or anything. I bought a Bible that didn't have any. I, I'm not interested in editorializing in the Bible. I just want to read it and see what's in there myself. I have very low levels of trust for Christian pastors, most of whom, you know, I'm just not a fan at all. And uh, sorry to say that, but that's how I feel. Tucker, you can stand and benefit from a nice study Bible, my guy, respectfully. It's okay. There's, there's folks that know the languages better than you and I. There's folks that have understood the historical context better than you and I. There's nothing wrong with a nice study Bible come alongside, give you a little bit of commentary. Who are the books or the letters being written to? Why are they being written to? Are they answering questions? This is a prophetic word. This is a piece of literature that's historical. Is this poetry? That kind of stuff is, is I think, good good to have on hand. And that doesn't mean you got to believe and, and co-sign everything that's in the study Bible, but there's a lot of really good study Bibles that just give you a bit more context. And so I just didn't, I don't want to hear other people's opinions. I just want to see what's in there. And I, so I spent a year and a half reading it and then I started rereading it. And it was a, just a transformative experience for me, but I'm not, you know, holding myself out as someone from whom you could get theological advice because I'm sure, not. Of course, of course. I, mean, I don't know. I don't understand any of it. But Do yeah, you that happened. God allowed the demon? I have no idea what happened. All hmm. I know is I was dead asleep with my wife and dogs, and I woke up with claw marks on my rib cage underneath my arms. And it didn't even make sense. My arms would, anyway, whatever. I'm not, no one has to believe me. I don't hmm. care. So I appreciate. Tucker's honesty in this, that he is not a theological authority on any of this stuff. He doesn't quite understand what happened to him, yet he is now transformed and left in this world with a desire for the Word of God. And usually I think when you have an encounter with Jesus, that is something that tends to follow, is an encounter with the living God. And now I'm curious, where does he go from here? ...to me, and uh, so I just was like, wow, that... That's real. Whatever that is, I don't even not sure what it is. It's but. very real. Okay, so I personally have never heard of someone that is having a spiritual attack in their dream that then transcends into physical marks on them. My immediate thought was maybe it was his dogs that clawed him up. Maybe it was, I don't know. He had four dogs sleeping with him. That's where my brain initially went. And then... Me and Zach decided to look a little deeper into this, and we found out that this is actually kind of prevalent, and there's been some documentation of people who've woken up with scratch marks on them all over social media. Now, this TikTok video is only one representation of this entire experience, so let me know if you think this is credible or not. Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> is it really? This is my back's burning. Oh, my God. No, you're Stop. kidding. That's weird. Stop. Get out, 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 get
Okay, so I guess in some of these documented experiences, the three scratch marks are believed to be a mocking of the Trinity, the triune Godhead, by the demonic forces. Now, in Tucker Carlson's situation, he said he actually had his skin broken to where he was bleeding and there was blood. This just looks like a pretty nasty scratch, but not where there's, you know, bleeding happening. I do appreciate that he doesn't seem to have a need to convince anybody. He didn't pull out, you know, a shirt and show his dad bod and expose his uh, scratch marks to the entire world. And so it doesn't seem like this is something that he is saying is a proof for what he believes. This is just saying, hey, this is what happened to me. Pretty interesting. Okay, so many of us are familiar with the passage in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. So we know that there are heavenly realms, that there are spiritual forces, and that is where the battle is happening. The interesting part is to see examples of people allegedly having the spiritual forces impact their physical realities. Now, how do we know what is coming from the God of the universe and what is coming from the demonic side of this conversation? This is what 1 John chapter 4, verse 2 explains to us. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. So, very simply, those who acknowledge Jesus comes from God, that Jesus is co-eternal, that Jesus is Yahweh, that is from God. Those who do not acknowledge that is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. This is written 2,000 years ago, and it's telling us that the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world back then. Anyway, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think Tucker Carlson had a real encounter? Also, be sure to check out the Christianity's YouTube channel linked over here. And the big announcement is I'll actually be in the same film as Tucker Carlson. We'll be shooting my parts soon. So subscribe over there for more information on that. If you want to see about a time, I had a conversation with my friend Shane Smith, who used to be a Satanist, and the crazy impact it had on his soul. We'll have that over here. And you can pick up the Bless God Among the Pagans collection right here. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.